Here's some little candles with melty wick thingies. Uh, there's tall ones and short ones and medium ones. And these are all baked, so you can do whatever you want and they'll be just fine. So scoot those out of the way and start off with some translucent. Um, they will break if your dog chews on them. Yes, they will break if your dog chews on them. Thank you, Catherine. So you take your little light bulb and you're going to start rolling it. This is your candle. You put it up and down and then you flatten the top and bottom. You can roll it over, flatten it some more, and you keep rolling it out. You can make tall, short, fat, skinny, whatever kind that you like, or a, an assortment like I have over there. And um, there you have the beginning of your little candle. And you're going to take teeny tiny little worms of translucent clay and you just roll them out and you put them along the edge. This is the supposed to be the melted wax running down the edge. Yep. And that is our show for today, kids. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine. Whatever. Okay, so you put several of these on. Then I'm going to take a tiny little ball of, of uh, clay and then put it right on the edge so it looks like... what it's called? Yeah, I almost said wax. <laughs> so that way it looked like the wax melted down into the little pile and put it at the bottom of one of those drips. And of course you can put more on there if you want. Just make a little ball. Squish it. And just set it on there. Here, I nice, have a nice big one. See it? And then it looks like it melted over there. You're going to have that little, um, like the little divot part where it goes down in there. I'm using a tiny little bead and putting it on top and shoving it down and then because it's a bead I can grab the inside with a needle and pull it out through the, through the little hole oopsie let's see I keep messing up the very edge when I do that and I drop the bead but then I just take um, another little piece of melty wax like stuff and melt it down the edge nobody's perfect <laughs> thank you catherine <laughs> i'm certainly not okay and then i'm taking my chalk pastels but you can use any kind of chalk you want and i'm gonna actually switch over to a different one yeah this one because my hands haven't touched it for a while so it's um a little easier to work with and I'm going to take a little paintbrush and on my ecru or my wacky yellow, the dark yellow, kind of ugly yellow chalk. I'm going to paint that and then I paint a couple times like you clean the brush just a little and then you are going to, that will make your, uh, make, make your candle look old. You just brush around, make sure you get really good right around the, um, the wax drippies. In this case, less is more, don't overdo it. And then you go all the way around the candle with that. Get some on top, but don't get, you don't have to get it down in the hole because when you have a candle, that'll always melt a lighter color anyway. Do the back side, blah, blah, blah. And then you're gonna do, when that's the color you want it, you're gonna take a, take some black wire and wire cutters, and this is gonna be your wick, and just cut off a little piece like this big, not very big at all. Like a centimeter? And yeah, like a centimeter. And you stick it right in the middle of that hole and it doesn't need to be straight up and down or anything. I like to make them kind of long because they're cool that way. And anyway, you stick it in the oven and they will come out nice and hard and the translucent part will come out even better. And they'll look really like melty little candles. And I only make the dripping wax go down one side because in real candles, they, uh, one side usually would be um, more melted than the other. Anyway, that's how you make the drippy candles.